The EU on Tuesday followed in the footsteps of the U.S. to reduce reliance on semiconductor supply from other countries. Now, the bloc aims to increase its global chip market share to 20 percent by 2030. Our Yi Sengja has more. Last August, the U.S. signed its CHIPS Act with the aim of producing more semiconductors in the country. And on Tuesday, the EU agreed to a 47 billion U.S. dollar plan for its semiconductor industry in a move to catch up to both the U.S. and Asia, while reducing its dependency on regions outside the bloc for its semiconductor needs. The EU CHIPS Act, which was initially proposed by the European Commission last year, looks to double the EU's share of global chip output to 20 percent by 2030, compared to the current production output of 10 percent. The plan also allows the bloc to build up its local semiconductor supply chain and prevent any chip shortages for important sectors, such as the automotive industry. EU Chief Ursula von der Leyen praised Tuesday's deal, saying the CHIPS Act will allow for a competitive chips industry and build a foundation for a global market share. With Asian semiconductor players like South Korea, Taiwan and China already dominating the global market share, it'll be tough competition ahead, with the EU needing to quadruple its production rate to meet the 20 percent target. But since the news of the EU's chip subsidies plan last year, the EU has attracted over 100 billion U.S. dollars in public and private investments. On top of that, the EU CHIPS Act has expanded the scope of these subsidies to further boost its competition against other countries. This includes a plan to expand subsidies across the whole production cycle to include research and development centers and mature chip production, and not just the factories where the chips are made. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.